Scientists, hello, welcome. Scientists, hello, welcome back. This is lesson five of the sixth grade unit, Oceans, Atmosphere, and Climate. We're trying to figure out why the air temperature in Christchurch, New Zealand is a little bit colder during El Nino years. So to help us try to figure that out today, we're gonna to have a lesson about ocean currents and air temperature. So this video is part one. For this lesson, for part one of lesson five, you will need a couple of things. You need something to write with, something to write on, and you need another person to talk to about your ideas. Okay, so let's get started with a little bit of a mystery. This is a map of the continents and the oceans of planet Earth, and you can see that there's two yellow stars on the map. One is for Cape Town, which is found in the, on the continent of Africa, and Buenos Aires, which is on the continent of South America. And if you look closely at these two stars, you can see that they appear to be at very similar latitudes, which means we would expect that they're getting the same amount of energy from the sun. So knowing that, I want you to think a little bit about how you think the air temperature of these two places that are at similar latitudes would be. Okay, so we have two predictions. We have prediction one, which is that Buenos Aires and Cape Town have the same ocean surface temperature. Or we have our prediction B, which is that Buenos, and Bar Buenos Aires and Cape Town have different ocean surface temperatures. So we're thinking about not just the air temperature of these two cities, but also the surface ocean temperature. So the temperature of the ocean. Why does this matter? This matters because both Buenos Aires and Cape Town, just like Christchurch, New Zealand, are cities that are found on the coast. So they're close to ocean currents. And so we're trying to figure out how the ocean could affect the air temperature of the places that they pass. And as soon as we figure this out, you'll be one step closer to understanding how the temperature of the ocean currents near Christchurch, New Zealand might affect the air temperature of that location. Okay, so to help us with this, we need a little bit more evidence than what we have right now. We, we know that they're next to the ocean, so let's take a look at what types of ocean currents are running past these two locations. So we have current A and current B. Current A passes right by Buenos Aires and current B passes by Cape Town. So where is current A coming from? So if you look at it, what do you see that there? Where is it coming from? And if I look very carefully at current A, I can see that it starts by the equator and then travels down the coast of South America. So a current that starts at the equator, would that have more energy or less energy than a current that starts at the pole? And if you look at current B, you can see that this current seems to start closer to the pole and then it moves past Cape Town. So is current B going to have more or less energy than current A? So those are the kinds of things that we need to try to, you know, try to figure out. So what, what would help you understand this the best? Okay, so right now I'd like you to either discuss with your partner or just take a moment to think about what you're seeing here. So two questions. One, what does the map show? And how does the map provide evidence that the currents near Buenos Aires and Cape Town cause the ocean surface temperature at each, each location to be the same or different. So if you can, you can pause the video right now, take a moment to think about some ideas and jot them down. And if you have a partner, someone you can talk to about this, then tell them what you're thinking about. What, what are you noticing about this map? Okay, I hope you had a moment to think about your ideas. Let's take a look at um, this graphic. This graphic shows two things. It has current A near Buenos Aires and current B near Cape Town. And it's sort of like a kind of a fill in the blank matching story. So how would we describe current A near Buenos Aires? Would we say it carries no energy? Would we say it carries less energy? Would we say it carries more energy or would we say it carries the same amount of energy? So the ocean current that passes Buenos Aires comes from the equator. The closer a location is to the equator, the more energy it receives from the sun, and therefore this current is going to be carrying more energy um, 
because the water moving away from the equator is actually warmer than the water around it. So that's pretty interesting about current A. So the ocean current that passes Cape Town comes from the polar region. Therefore, the current carries less energy and moves cooler water from the pole to this area. So after examining the map, I'd like you to either think about this or discuss this with someone else. And I want you to choose one of these two claims. Do you think that Buenos Aires and Cape Town would have the same exact ocean surface temperature. Remember that they are at the same latitude. They're receiving the same amount of energy from the sun. Or do you predict that Buenos Aires, prediction B, which is that Buenos Aires and Cape Town have different ocean surface temperatures. Remember that both of them have a current that's generating from different places on our planet, one from the equator and one from the pole. So which of these two predictions do you think is best supported by the evidence that we're seeing in this map. So go ahead and pause the video right now. Take um, an opportunity to think about your ideas, discuss them with a partner, and be ready to, to share some of your thoughts. Okay, I hope you took a moment to, to write down some of your ideas, or at least to think about them or talk with someone else about what you think. So let's take a look at this evidence more closely. So. What we see here is that the current that passes Buenos Aires comes from the equator. So as we've already discussed, it carries more energy. So that means that there's a warm current there. And because of this, the ocean temperature near Buenos Aires is actually warmer than you'd expect for a location at that latitude. So Cape Town is the opposite. The current that passes Cape Town originates in the South Pole. It comes from the South Pole and it actually carries less energy. So that means that this cold current, as it's passing Cape Town, it actually, the water there is colder than you would expect for its latitude because the water is moving from a colder location. So we're going to try to, to use this information to see how that could affect the temperature of the air. So in the next part of this lesson, we're gonna do an experiment to see how the temperature of water could affect the temperature of the air that it passes by. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson.